All right, so let me zoom in here. I'll show you what we got to do. It's not hard to fix this. You're going to use, I'm going to use Jason Duffner because he's about your size. He's 5'11, 180 pounds, 175 pounds. Same build, roughly. All right, now, everything's good on your takeaway, but I want to show you a, the delivery position. He's got a wide takeaway, no hand independent manipulation of the hands. The left wrist angle may, is maintained as he takes the club away. Both arms stay relatively straight, maintain that triangle. The upper arms are glued to the chest. All right, so your grip looks pretty good. I wouldn't really change too much there. I got to check you on another machine. I want to see your path and face. But here's the problem. As you hit the ball, this is a nice position. You're a little bit too narrow, what we call narrow. In other words, the radius of your swing is, 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 is uh, your right arm shouldn't be more uh, less than a right angle. And, and you, you're, you're, you're hand, your right hand is too close to your head. Okay. All right, so watch his. Look how straight his left arm is. See the distance his hands are further away from his body. So the way I can best describe that visually would be if we had a clock here and your axis, the center of your chest, actually your left shoulder socket, you want to maximize your swing radius. Okay. All right, now coming down, watch where his right elbow is. See how it's tucked up against his right hip or his rib cage? Well, that's not what you're doing. This is where you run into problems. Right there, you're stuck. Your right elbow is behind your right hip. So now you can't extend your right side through the ball, so you get jammed up. So that's what we're going to work on. We're going to get your right elbow back in front of your right hip. That's your only swing problem um, that leads to your... In so right here, you're really in trouble. Yeah, I'm manipulating. Yeah, it's tough for you to get the elbow in front. Have you ever had rotator cuff surgery? No. I've had All right. a broken wrist, that's about it. Alright, so you don't have the problem getting the elbow in front. See, the pelvis is shot forward a little bit. Whereas instead of... You want to get deeper with the hips so you can get your arms back in front of your body. Uh, what I'm going to do is set, your, set you up a little differently. I want to give you a little more space here. So the, I want one hand span, the end of the club from your body. And that will give you more space to get your hands and arms back in front of your body. So one of the drills I want you to do is take the club up to the top of your swing and then reattach it to your rib cage as you drop it down, your right elbow. So yes, yeah, so you're gonna reattach right there. And now you're done, that's perfect. Now from here, everything's connected. All you gotta do is turn into it. See, there you are. So that's your drill. You gotta practice hitting balls doing that in slow motion. So you do, what you do is you go one, two, three. You just do it in pieces. One, two, reattach, three, hit. And you just practice. And I don't even care if you hit it 10 yards. I just want you to get the motor pattern because you got to reestablish a motor pattern. And the other thing is you're going to take your rear end. Come over here, I'll show you. Uh, let me turn this off because everything I'm saying is being recorded. Anyway, put your butt against the wall. You're going to do the same drill. Go up to the top, reattach your right upper arm to your rib cage, and then your left hip's on the wall at impact. Don't let your pelvis thrust. Now your hamstrings are tight and your hips are tight, so that's hard for you to get. See, like I'm fairly flexible. I can, I can lock my left leg and still touch my toes. I don't think that's happening. Well, that's pretty good. I, mean, I have some flexibility, a lot so, better than I have. So it's baby, it's just, it's just a it's motor just, pattern. It's, it's, I think you just have to. I think to a lot learn. of it is just. Uh, I'm so. My swing has always been like that, where my hips thrust that way instead of. Yeah, I think you can learn that. I think you're a good enough athlete. It's just a motor pattern. You want to keep the right heel down. And I'll show you something. In, in uh, It's called eversion and inversion. Yep. You, want to, you want to roll your ankles. And then as you roll your right ankle, straighten your left hip and push your left hip straight behind you. That's the feeling you want to have. Yep, that's the move. That'll keep your shaft plane similar to the address condition because the closer you can reestablish that position, the better. So you can see here, that's your main issue right there, Eugene. Yeah, I'm trying to throw. So you see how the right elbow's tucked here? Correct. You know, 
And so that's what we're going to get you doing because that right elbow is just really causing you trouble here. You're just not getting the club back in front of you. So there, you know, you can see how much wider your arms are relative to the address condition, you know, and that's because one, you're, you're thrusting, you see, you have to bend your arms. You're a good enough athlete, you know, Hey, I got to get the club face square and I got to hit it solid. If I thrust six inches forward, I got to bend my arms to accommodate. So that's yeah. what you do. So, you know, here's impact and here's address. Whereas if we look at Jason Duffner's right arm, He's going to get the right arm back in front of him now, full extension. Yeah. Yep. So, you know, his elbows, they, I like to have the handle of the club point a little more at the chest. And then as he comes down, we're going to re get that right elbow in front of the right hip. And that's pretty much, um, you know, you could even take a freak like Justin Johnson, who doesn't even know what he does, but he's just a freak. But he gets the club back in front of him. Notice the elbow. See how that yeah, elbow right, gets yeah. right back in front of him yeah. and then, then he's extended through the strike. Yeah, very strike. wide. Yeah. yeah, so the radius of his swing is nice and wide. He's maintained that. So that's really what we're going to do. I mean, that's what, you know, sequencing the arms in the body, getting that right elbow in front of the right hip. You can see here he gets it right in front of him there. And that's Hale Irwin. And, Hunter Mahan again, you can see here. Now he has an interesting right elbow position. His right arm doesn't straighten until way late. But he gets it he gets it in front of him here. But you can see his right arm doesn't really straighten until after the ball's gone. Hmm. I think he's worked on getting that right elbow in front. But uh he drops his head quite a bit. So uh his right arm doesn't straighten as quickly as some people. All right. 